Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's another day of our Be Creative series. I'm always thrilled at the beauty and the wonder of nature. And I came home from work tonight and I was out in the backyard and it's kind of the end of camellia season and the camellia blossoms are falling off the tree. And I was stuck, struck by the beauty and delicacy of this little bloom. And look at the folds inside here. Look at the detail. So what did I do? I brought my macro lens in. So I've got the Nikon Z7 II with the 105 millimeter macro, one of the Lytra Pro torches with the softbox on. So in this case, what's important to me? Number one, the lighting. I've got this beautiful soft light coming in from the side, illuminating the petals. And if you come in closer, Look at the beauty of the petals. Look at the shape that that makes. And if you come right around and look, look in here on the flower, you can see that shape and what we're trying to capture with the macro lens. So what have I done? I've come in close. So I've got my macro lens at the minimum shooting distance. You can see I'm about six inches away from the flower. I've got the light very close to make this beautiful soft light on it with the soft box. And it almost looks like a smile. And that's what I wanted. So if you come in close, come on up close, right? So I'm gonna put the focus point right there and you see how it glows green when it's in focus? You can see it 1 800th of a second at f5.6. And if, it, if it, at f5.6, I've got a very narrow focus. And I think that's the one I'm gonna like. Or I can close the aperture. I'm gonna to go to f16 gives us a hundredth of a second. I'm going to touch focus on the same spot right there. Look at that. See how we have more focus in the image now? But I don't like it as well because I want that smile, those lips to come forward. Reminds me of a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. So once again, I'm going to go to f5.6 as far as the lens can open in a close-up like this. And I'm going to touch focus right there. And that's awesome. Look at that beautiful velvety softness. Now, I can even pull back, because I've got the macro slider on, I can pull back just a wee bit and get a little bit more detail, a little bit more of the smile in the picture. Now, that's too much, right? I wanna come in right about there, adjusting the ball head just like that. So that's why it's important to be on a tripod with an image like this. To get what I want, I have to be able to control precisely what I'm seeing. Right there. You can see it's a completely different feeling. Right? Look at the photo. Right there. It's hard to even tell that it's a flower. So in the Be Creative series, every day we're exploring a different aspect of what we can do with the camera. Most of them right here in the living room or in the dining room with a little bit of equipment. And that's the magic of photography is getting out, being creative, making the pictures every single day. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Have a great day and make a great picture. We'll see you tomorrow for our next episode of Be Creative.